Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna be doing a little walkthrough on the recent submarine build we did. This is the A-Gear. If you haven't been watching the uh, the recent series on our YouTube channel, we've been building a diesel electric hybrid sub. Uh, it is mainly for exploration and uh, basically like uh, luxury charters, if you will. But um, yeah, in this video, we're just gonna kinda check it out. I'll show you guys some of the features, and uh, yeah, that's just about it. So we're panning through it real quick, just so you you can see all of the angles uh, and we're going to take it all the way up through the front so you can see the cockpit and everything in the front or not the cockpit but um, you know the control stations and uh, we'll go up to the top deck too and then we will uh, kind of just get right into it all right and we're out here on the deck it's a little flooded this thing's pretty full of fuel right now so it's a little heavier um, when you use more of the fuel this will actually raise out of the water completely but uh, it, it works still nonetheless so don't worry about it we're gonna hop in the sub and we'll flick a couple switches that red one will pump water out of the tower and then this breaker you'll see it turned off that red light in the front of the submarine and there's also a little indicator we'll look at right there and when you flip that breaker, it just kind of lets the uh, the driver know, hey, there's people outside of the sub. There's, you know, diving going on. Maybe you shouldn't drive away um, or maybe you should. Who knows? But yeah, so that's uh, that's just about it from up here. It's pretty simple. There's not all that much going on. There's a little liquid meter so you can see uh, see how much water's up here. But um, yeah, that's just about up here. It, it for up here. And while we're waiting for this to uh, empty a little bit, I might as well just, uh, you know, kind of mention that we do build these series for those of you who are new we do build um, pretty much this entire sub on camera for you guys to watch and follow along i uh, stop in and kind of explain it a little bit so if you are new here you like what you see don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button come back for more i will definitely be building some some uh, more stuff in the future i've got some pretty cool big stuff in the works right now um, but enough of that we'll hop right in and you'll see this green little pa panel this is your hvac panel just put in the temperature it is in fahrenheit um, it works both ways, uh, H, uh, AC and heat. So just flip the switch on, it'll work, let it do its, do its thing. And, uh, you really don't have to worry about it from there. Um, but going forward, you know, we kind of just got a lot of equipment around this first room is really mostly equipment for, uh, leaving the sub exploring, um, right here is a little station to refill your, uh, your diving apparatuses once you have consumed the air. And then you got all the basic hand tools, you know, ropes, fire extinguishers, welders, med kits, that kind of stuff. And moving forward, we have a nice little bathroom here. Quite a, quite a cramped little bathroom, but it, it is there. And going forward, we have a cool little seating area for uh, the guest. Again, this thing is built for comfort, so there's supposed to be a lot more room in this uh, submarine than there is normally. And uh, up here, really just kind of a viewing deck, an observation deck. Um, there's a, a communications control panel over there, and you can send video. You see I switched the uh, video up front. You can send video out via whatever channel you'd like, so uh, people at the surface can view the cameras. And we'll go up top. And I, I missed the ladder. Oops. But up here, it's really just kind of a, a nice little relaxing open space. There's a couple beds. There's a uh, sink behind us. There's a couple lockers you'll see there. Uh, my hopes and dreams are locked up in the locker. And uh, we have our sink. And that is fresh hot water. So it is desalinated heated water. And we'll head back down and we will start to control the sub. So up here, you have a couple switches for the ballast. That, uh, that blue one lets the water in. There's an indicator right there that'll let you know when you're about right for weight. And then the red the red switch will blow the ballast. So we will hop in this. I'm gonna set a depth of negative 15 and we will just push the throttle forward and we're under our weight. So I already have an autopilot uh, coordinate under here. We're gonna go hop into the caves quick just so you guys can uh, kind of see how, how easy it is to maneuver and control the sub. But you just flick those two switches, it's easy. It looks like I left that uh, that little breaker in the top on, so we will go turn that off real quick. All right, and up the ladder, if we uh, if we can grab the ladder, <laughs> there we go. Get the, get the flip off or the switch off. That turns the lights off, turns the indicators off, lets us see a little bit better. 
and we'll go back to the front this is a real quick we'll stop this is an sos panel so this is kind of for an emergency so flick the key and then it opens the lockable button once you click the lockable button it will drop that little buoy on the deck and that will float up to the surface and then the submarine will also start transmitting its location on a emergency broadcast signal of 121 your x channel will be on composite one and your y will be on composite two um, so anybody who wants you really you just hook up an antenna to your ship to read those and, and put it into a map it'll automatically show that there's an emergency going on all of my maps uh, have that built in so anything you use with my creations that'll show up on the map but we're it looks like we're getting a little close here so i'm kind of just cycling through the camera so i'll show you guys that and uh you saw me playing with the, uh, there's a gimbal camera that slides out, and that's also hooked into the HUD, and you can track things with that also as well. But yeah, I'm uh, kind of just trying to go down in depth quick here. We're still a little light with the ballast, so I'm kind of just circling around before we head into the caves. And one thing to note here is I know the sub is kind of rolling around a little bit there. It will, um, but it also will naturally upright itself. So it will automatically level itself whenever it's on and uh, just kind of something you don't have to worry about too much. It will rock, let it rock. Um, it's using those propellers right in front of the screen you can see, or the window you can see those are uh, using to level out the sub. So there is no really roll controls. Um, and also with this, you can't, you can't scale up and down in the submarine i didn't really uh think that that was too important to linearly move up and down uh with the propellers when you do have the ballasts there's no really need to be in a rush in this submarine it's again for kind of exploration and fun so but yeah we're uh we're just pumping uh pumping water into the ballast here we're gonna lower our depth and then we will head on into the cave that looks just just about right and while we're here I, f I totally forgot to show you there are uh, there are flares for when you're um, entering the caves or at night so just click the space bar it'll launch a flare there's reloadable cartridges on the uh, deck you you can find if you uh, download the ship and play with it a little bit but yeah you just click space it'll launch one it's just for lighting the area up but looks like we finally got a good depth here so we will start heading on into the caves I got it on electric power right now which I find is a little bit more responsive so I, I typically like to switch to it when you're in the caves and then as well um, you know you can switch back to the diesel if you're low on battery or you uh, you know you need uh, need more power or whatnot so but yeah we're, we're heading into the caves it's quite a tight fit here but it, this thing is quite easy to move and when you have the autopilot and the depth hold off uh, it is just WASD it'll uh, turn very quick and it pitches quite quick too so um, you should be able to navigate this around the caves pretty easily this is my second time into the caves with this sub you can honestly turn it pretty much 360 in these tunnels so um, don't really worry about getting stuck down there but yeah that uh that's just about gonna do it for this video i uh, i thank you all so much so if you do like this build don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and come back for more we will be building quite a big project next, and that's going to be a little bit longer one. We're going to squeeze some smaller stuff in between. But yeah, for the most part, if you do like this creation, don't forget to uh, check out the, the workshop link and uh, you know leave your feedback, show some love. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day.